Hey everyone! So, in our last video, we learned our three sticker chords and a simple chord progression. Now we're going to attach that to a song. First, take a look at this. It's an easy way to see a chord progression. There aren't a lot of details, but we don't need too many. All we need to know is that each measure is four beats long, the first measure is A minor, the second measure is C, and the next two are both G. We get twice as much time with that one. If you had absolutely no idea what we were doing, and I wasn't here to tell you, we need more information than that. But we already have a little bit of an idea, so just think of this as shorthand, or the musical version of LOL, or IDK. To review, let's play this progression twice through. Ready? One, two, three, and... And now that we've gotten pretty comfortable with this, it's time to attach it to a song. We need to find one that will fit both our chords and our chord progression. And luckily, in the year 2014, the cosmic forces of the pop universe came together and gave us not just one, but two songs. So, let's have a look at the first one. And that song is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Released in 2014 on her 1989 album, this song, an album in general, marked a departure from Swift's established reputation as a country artist and veered more into the world of pop. Now, not only does our chord progression fit this song, but it also has something very useful going for it. It repeats over and over and over, which means we have a lot of chances to get it right. If at any point you lose your place, just watch for that A minor chord and try to jump back in. When the song starts, wait for the drum intro so you know how fast it goes. It's a little faster than what we've been playing, but not much. And start when the vocals come in. And practice as many times as you need to. Practice without the music at first if that helps, and then try with me. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. I stay out too late.
get all the way through. Nice work. Now, before we get to our next song, let's try something a little bit different. Let's do that chord progression again, but change it from four strums per measure to two strums per measure. This doesn't make our beat any faster, but we will be changing chords a little more quickly. So let's actually slow down the beat. Ready? Do it with me. One, two, three, and. Good. Now let's try this. Do this twice through with me. Ready? And one, two, three, and. Now what if we tried this? I'm going to take that chord progression and move that last measure of G to the front. If we played this on a loop, it doesn't actually change the order of the chords, and you still get twice as long to play G, but it becomes a little bit different. If you compare this to our original chord progression, you can see how they're related. Let's try it the new way and do it twice through. Ready? One, two, three, and. One. And with our new chord progression, we're going to attach it to the other song. Remember, even though we're starting on a different chord and strumming two beats instead of four, it's still basically the same sequence. If you could get through Shake It Off, you're ready for this one. It's actually not uncommon for songs to share similar chord progressions or use the same ones outright. It's kind of like the setting in a movie. The same set may be used a few different times in a few different ways. And in our case, we're going to take our adjusted chord progression and use it with our other song from 2014, Lips Are Movin' by Megan Trainer. This was Trainer's second chart hit, evoking the bubblegum doo-wop style of 1950s pop music she's become known for. And we're going to play along. Just like with Shake It Off, this repeats for the entire song, only there's no rap part this time. So, wait until the verse to start playing, and then try to keep up. Practice as many times as you need to, and remember, if you get lost, find a chord you're comfortable with, and try to jump back in. If your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, then you're la la la, babe. If your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, uh -huh. if your lips are moving, I said you're la la la, babe. Boy, look at me in my face, tell me that you're not just about this bass. Uh -huh. You really think I could be replaced? Nah, I come from outer space, and I'm a classy girl, I'ma hold it up.
right, nice work everyone. Now, in the next video, I've got one more sticker chord song to show you a little Seattle rock history and a new way of reading music. See you then.